And so the movie that I'll be reviewing today is Happy Death Day to You, which is the sequel to Happy Death Day. And it is a slasher sci-fi mystery type of movie. And it is directed by Christopher Landon. And it stars Jessica Roth, Israel Brizard, and Fai Vu. And this movie takes place after the first one where Tree finds herself reliving the days over again after she thought that she did away with that and now she is on a mission to find out why this happening, how it's happening, and how to stop it. When they come across something that may be the key as to stopping it, her and her friends will stop at nothing to make sure that this ends permanently now i really do like this movie of course with the first one being the way it was you can expect the kind of comedic horror but not so much a parody it still keeps that humor like the first film but like the first film for me it was hit and miss Jessica Ruff carries the movie again as the lead and everyone around her does well in their roles as well. And the main difference between this movie from the first one is you'll begin to notice that it takes more of a sci-fi turn with the genre. How the other film was a comedic horror combination thing, this is all the way sci-fi and it's not even really a horror film at all. It just really kind of have horror elements like really small horror elements in the movie. And speaking of horror elements, that aspect takes a backseat and is not even played upon heavily in this movie like it was the first one. Even with them finding out who the killer was, it just really doesn't matter. In fact, you could have taken it out of the movie and it wouldn't have made it a bit of difference. Probably would have made it better for it. And this movie had an unexpected emotional turn to it that I wasn't ready for. The way it was done was really good though and it was really effective especially relating to something in my life it did kind of get a hold of me to where I had to kind of like keep my composure even my sister had the same type of like feeling while watching the movie and it yeah it, it hit hard and this movie does expand on the main storyline from the first film as well as the personal parts and individual characters like i had just previously mentioned and it does have a part in the movie toward the beginning where like weirdly focuses on the asian kid and then it goes to the main girl. I mean, I get why it was done, but it just really seemed weird for them to do it the way that they did. Especially if it wasn't for that long and you were just going to go to the original girl. Just the way that they really had heavy focus on him made it seem like he was going to be more of a major part than he was. Now, don't get me wrong. He did play a major part in this movie than he did in the first one. But when they did this in the beginning, it was kind of like it's kind of weird but okay whatever but even just that it doesn't take away a lot of my enjoyment from the film now happy death day is as ridiculous as you would think it would be especially if you've seen the first one it has a change of pace from the original as well as a lot of the other movies that are out around the time and even now and like i said the comedy was hit or miss it did do some kind of like creative and kind of different things that played around with certain aspects I did personally like this movie better than the first one. I'm kind of disappointed it didn't do as well as the first one did as far as like the opening weekend and stuff, but I really did enjoy this. And this movie does have a post credit scene. Not going to say what it is, but it wasn't, it, I don't know, it just, it didn't, I didn't really like it too much. It didn't sit right with me, but when you see it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It just, it went a certain route that I felt like, nah, they don't need to do that. But that's all I'm going to say. But with that said, I'll give this movie an 8. And that has been my review on Happy Death Day to you. 